this is an exciting show, obviously, and congratulations on the debut, Jeannie, but this debut of the show is also coming at a very rough time for you personally. So how are you doing right now? How are you healing? Because you did recently post on Instagram. You said sometimes you need to take a break and disconnect to yeah. heal. So how are you healing and how are you doing? Yeah, I'm taking it day by day and thankfully being able to have a show like this and to come to work and mm -hmm. be able to do something that you enjoy doing, takes your mind off of things. And, you know, right now I'm just focusing on Monaco. I'm focusing on things that I'm passionate about. Yeah. And um, I mean, shoot, when you're surrounded by people, you just get to laugh and, you know, look at the things that you enjoy doing in life. Yeah. Then, you know, you get through it. Laughter is the best medicine. Thank you. Yeah. Also, such a good mommy, by the way. Oh, yeah. thank you. I know. Monica was on set with us. At Ray the she raided the cage. She, she went for the teddy bear. Did she? She went for the what teddy bear. What did she go after? There teddy was bear. a teddy bear that's like it's a like life-size one. It's and there's literally like, a like three of her. Necklace. But she's <laughs> just like, I'm going to take this. Yeah. She had it, right? Yeah, and she went for it because that's my girl. She went for the bling. Right? I know she went for the bear. She went for the bling for mama. Next time, honey, go for the bird again. It's time to raid the cage. What on earth? Who are you people? I'm loving this duo right here. Hey. Oh, it's a good duo. <laughs> it is a solid duo. You're going to get two for. I, yeah, without a doubt. And this show is awesome, too. It is so <laughs> much fun. I feel like you're the two perfect people to be delivering it to the people. So. Yeah. Yeah. Good oh. stuff, y'all. <laughs> but how exactly did the opportunity to host Raid the Cage come about for both of you? Um, well, I've always been a really uh, big fan of game shows, a huge fan of shoplifting, so <laughs> I feel like they combine those two together in a nice way. And, mm -hmm. um, and then once it was brought to me, I think it was brought to us around the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, and the we just The concept was crazy. The concept is insane. Yeah, right? as soon as you see it, you're like, wait, we can help people steal yeah. and win? Right, so break down the concept. Legal? Yeah, right. break down the yeah. concept for us. All right, us, so it's uh, okay. two teams of two that uh -huh. compete to uh, raid this cage full of wonderful prizes. Like? Um, like Rolex watches, Birkin bags. Uh, yeah, trips to Antigua, right? Broken bags, but you so have, yeah, real but you have expensive to get, stuff. Yeah, yeah, real expensive stuff. And you have to get out of there, though, in time, or else the doors close and you lose everything. Oh, my gosh. I know. Yeah. Show us what you got. Here we go. So how is this different from other game shows out there, Jeannie? Well, just the fact that it happens so quickly and mm -hmm. it takes a little bit of brains, a whole lot of strategy, and just, like, Bam, 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 you gotta go for it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a show that somebody could just increase their bank account by $50,000 in like 38 seconds. Yeah, it's crazy because <laughs> it combines two of my favorite things about um, game shows is like you got the trivia portion mm -hmm. uh -huh. and you have the physical challenge portion, right? Because the trivia, you gotta get a certain amount of trivia right to get time in the cage for your partner. Right. Yeah. The gabber, we got the grabber. Okay. The gabber does the trivia, the grabber does the grabbing. Oh, <laughs> you got the gabber and the grabber. Now, yep. if y'all were to take a step, we got the gabber and the grabber. Right. That twine girl, <laughs> you're just a little bit of all right. I mean, what can I say? <laughs> now, if y'all were to take on the show, who would be the gabber and who would be the grabber? Oh, we mm. went back and forth about this already. Yeah, um, yeah, I think. I Damon, think, you are good with information. He locks I'm in a so. lot of random. He's a Snapple cap. He's like yeah. always coming out with things that that you wouldn't expect. A Snapple cap. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what, what you my are. that's my 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 sister. That's our my my, my nickname. Yeah. Snapple Cap. Yeah, she goes, all right, Snapple Cap. I'm yep. just like, I'm just giving you the real thing. <laughs> so he Love would be it. the one to do the gabbing. And I think because I'm quick, mm -hmm. uh, I'm strategic, you know, yeah. um, I've done some shoplifting for, yeah. you know, some of my yeah. younger years. Yeah. So I think I would be perfect. <laughs> but this is my first time uh, hosting and executive producer. Oh, the entire awesome. time. It was very collaborative and it was really cool seeing um, how intricate of a process putting a game show together was. I mean, do things get like a little crazy sometimes? Oh, like with contestants Some... trying to throw their arms out, not getting close How to the doors? How about contestants like actually running through the entire door and we were down <laughs> for a day because we had to rebuild that door. No. Yes. Yeah, there was a giant football player, dude. Oh Just smash gosh. right through it. I was right. like, this guy is like the Kool-Aid man. What the heck? <laughs> what is yes, he We actually doing? had a car that was pushed right through our set. So that had to get rebuilt too, mm -hmm. because the inertia, the energy that you have, you you, wow. you just wouldn't expect it to come flying out of you when you're about to push a thirty, forty thousand dollar car out the cage. Unbelievable! But it is such a fun show. I mean, f folks at home are going to want to hop into that yeah. cage. You Absolutely. know what I mean? Absolutely. So. Please watch my show, <laughs> raid my cage. I mean, okay. just you know what I mean? Like the show. How do you get anything done with this? We one don't. On set? 
Yeah. We don't. That's I why mean, I'm so glad we have two dressing rooms on either sides of the lot. And how many, I mean, we usually see you showing off your comedy chops, mm -hmm. your acting mm -hmm. chops. So how is your approach in preparing for something like this different or is it? You know, it's interesting because like I feel I feel like the only difference was like I do stand up all the time so I I'm cool with you know the stage presence of it all uh -huh. but it's it's trying to be charismatic about giving like pertinent information mm -hmm. to these contestants because I think that was like the hardest part was just trying to make it sound authentic mm -hmm. but it's actually like rules right you, you need know? to give them the tools yeah, to get yeah. through the next round yeah Jeannie's really good at that so I just kind of like watched her a little bit <laughs> like okay I'll She's use that person, I'll man. use that yeah that was great wonderful I mean you said you'd be the gabber if the two of you were gabbing and grabbing maybe maybe yeah. but you have been open about being dyslexic there are folks out there that I'm sure that'll be contestants on the show and yeah. fear like oh I don't know if I can do that trivia part but how have you yeah. made it an asset for you or maybe even like your superpower I read a lot to make sure that I'm, I kind of have control over it but I still you know it's still hard for me to spell people uh, I still see quiet as quite um, so I thank Gwen Stefani thing. every day for teaching me how to spell bananas. B one hundred percent. bananas. Did you know that uh, Gwen Stefani named all of her kids after the places that they were conceived? It was really Snapple cool. Cap. Yeah, Snapple so I, I sat my son down. I was like, "See Chipotle? It's not just you." <laughs> oh my gosh! Other people doing this. Lord have mercy. Chipotle. You are <laughs> extra guac, Gwen's. <laughs> Um, let's see, if there were to be a celebrity version of the show, who would you love to see cast in this? I mean, Ooh, anybody, anybody would would do great on this show. Um, I would love a good, you know, like, George Clooney from Ocean's Eleven, the first one. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? When he was like nice, old rugged, old school George, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, throw a little Bernie Mac in there, RIP. You know okay. What I, mean? yeah. I want to see some Ice Spice. I want to oh, see some, some ice spice, spice it's taking on the, tri tri yeah. the trivia, yup, and then getting oh, in that right. cage, you know, taking yeah. off the chain, being like, all right, let's go. Mm -hmm. I think that would be a good deal. Yeah, duo. she'd be shaking it in the deli. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'd love to see Cedric the Entertainer in there. Oh, Cedric yeah. would be great. In slow-mo, I mean. <laughs> Trying to get through the door. Oh my God, he's the best. Um, and maybe like a way in family action. Yeah, yeah. you know what would be That'd cool? Be down. I think I'll talk to you about that. It'd be cool to see like, uh, you know, like, uh, Marlon and Sean versus Keenan and Damon. Oh my God! Yeah, that'd Let's be make awesome. it happen in yeah. season two because we know y'all gonna be back. That You're part. damn right. It's too fun not to be. We better be. She said it. <laughs> she said it. This, you are a ham. I tell I you what. Too ham sandwich. You are the best ham sandwich there is. <laughs>